So let's try and do an update. Woohoo! Update. So let's. This is the old version of uh, Last Builder. He has version uh, address one and two. Let's try and call him Last Builder two here, and then put in the address ID of two and do a send. And yeah, it worked. It worked. Everything is great. Everything is awesome. But let's try and do another test. And let's say I actually also want address one in there. And let's try and do another send right here. Um, there we go. Oh, I'm getting an exception back. And I'll try and explain the exception now, but I just have to kind of get back to the startup point. So let's do one and three here again and do a send. Now you'll see it actually avoids the problem. And let me try and explain the real problem here. So sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Let me try and show you in a notepad what's actually going on because this is what happens. As soon as we do a request and we want to kind of update this guy in the code, let's try and jump to the code. What we're doing is we're actually saying grab the customer from the database and pull him into memory. So here we have the customer now in memory. So we have this customer in memory and in memory he has the following customer address with the customer ID of one, address ID one, customer ID one, address ID three, to kind of bind these two together so I know I have these two addresses available, right? So that's what we have down here. Now we're going to try now to change the customer in the database by changing his first name, last name, that's fine, and then just setting the addresses as they are. Now the problem is that this guy knows in the database that we already have these relations. And we are going to try and send in with the new request this relation and then the database says, oops, here's a clash, here's something wrong because you're trying to add this as a primary key, these two combined, but they're already in the database as a primary key combined right here. So the NT framework core is not ready yet just to figure out itself and say, okay, if these are the same, maybe I should just use one of them. I don't I should just use one of them, right? It's stupid. It says instead, oh my god, this is already in there and I cannot figure out what to do. So I'll just crash and send an exception back. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how we can keep this in the database and keep this in the context in memory, but remove this because notice there's a difference here. This guy is not in the new request. It's just in the old database. So I need to get that out of the way. So it ends up being a new combined set looking something like this. But at the same time, since this is the one that's already in the context, the one I have to remove is actually this guy. And the last thing I need to figure out is if I actually put in a two in here as well, how do I make sure that the end request actually end up being one there and two there, right? So this we have to figure out now in the next couple of lessons to make the update work completely because right now it's just kind of working and then we're actually done. So let's figure out how to make the update work.